Hello, my name is Lars Hanke. I'm Business Development Manager at Huber Group in Germany. Today, I would like to talk to you about the role of printing inks in mechanical recycling. First of all, let us have a look at current recycling technologies. Today's technologies mainly rely on mechanical recycling. This is a well-established state-of-the-art technology implemented in many European countries. On the other hand, it is still limited in recyclate quality. This is due to the fact that we still have not converted all of our packaging to monomaterials like monopolyethylene or monopolypropylene films. But also we need to consider printing inks, adhesives and coatings that may have a negative impact on the quality of the recyclants. L latest technologies that have come up more recently seek to overcome this uh, drawback and can potentially provide high quality recyclates that may even be used in food packaging eventually. However, these new technologies are still further down the line from a timescale point of view, and they still need to prove industrial as well as financial feasibility. Therefore, from today's perspective, we should rather seek to improve mechanical recycling such that it provides higher quality recyclates. I would like to explain to you what kind of contribution we can make from the printing ink side. We have partnered up with other um, actors in the packaging value chain in a project called PrintSig with the major target to evaluate the role of printing inks in recycling. Have we done? We have printed OPP or PE film with a white ink and then put the printed film into a state-of-the-art recycling equipment. And the major parameter we have to bear in mind is the temperature during the regranulation process the temperature um, applied is around 240 to 250 degrees centigrade. And when we use NC-based inks, we end up with a brown regranulate. This is due to the fact that the NC ink decomposes at the high temperature applied during the process to create breakdown products, volatile breakdown products that undergo follow-up reactions that result in the brown color and also in a strong odor. For those of you who are not so familiar with ink technology, NC or nitrocellulose-based inks are currently the major ink system used in flexible packaging printing, both in surface printing as well as in lamination. If, on the other hand, we use a polyurethane-based ink system, from our Gecko Platinum ink series, the white printed film converts into a white regranulate during recycling process. The polyurethane is stable during the process and therefore we do not have a change in color. Please notice that the only difference between these two regranulates is the binder system in the ink. Everything else is the same. Therefore, Gecko Platinum PU inks are ready for mechanical recycling. And this also proves true uh, when we convert the regranulate into recycled materials. We have taken the regranulate, converted it into film, and further transferred it into cups, into pouches, into tubes. And in all of these cases, we had excellent color stability excellent recycling properties and excellent processability at a similar level uh, as virgin films. But we may not be able to convert all of uh, the printing inks for flexible packaging to polyurethane in uh, a short period of time. So we may still stay with nitrocellulose-based inks and then we have to look into other technologies like de-inking. For the inking, the most promising process is hot washing because it is already applied in industrial scale in certain sectors of the recycling industry. But it also comes with its own challenges. If you use a standard ink, you often find a situation like this. The washing solution will get colored because the inks bleed 
or they get dispersed into the washing solution. And then it is difficult to clean the washing solution to feed it back into the process. To overcome the situation, we have developed a special primer and ink combination uh, that will make sure the ink comes off under the hot washing conditions in larger particles that can be, be removed easily by filtration, whereas the washing solution itself stays clean and clear. This special combination still relies on nitrocellulose inks, but in combination with a special uh, fit-to-purpose primer. In conclusion, we can deduct that mechanical recycling currently is the most efficient and mature technology. We offer a solution to achieve high-quality recyclates, direct mechanical recycling, by relying on our gecko platinum polyurethane inks. Uh, here we can enable high recyclate quality without de-inking. In mechanical recycling plus hot washing, suitable for ink systems that are not ideally compatible with uh, a recycling process like nitrocellulose inks, we have developed ink and primer solutions that are compatible with traditional nitrocellulose ink technology. They can be de-inked in the hot washing process and deliver high recyclate quality after the inking, albeit at the expense of integrating an additional process step. If you want to learn more, please contact under the following contact details. Thank you very much.